Philadelphia, the Buffaloes. Empty it out, toss it outside to Verdell, who's got it out for a first down and a gain of six. Official to the 47-yard line and a snap through Herbert's hands. He chases it back to the 27. Kind of a hot shot coming from Jake Hansen there that Herbert couldn't grab. And a drive killer on the opening possession for Oregon. Herbert well protected. Downfield, he's got it open red. And they pick Beat that route and force the throw in front of him. Here comes pressure and a wide open red. Takes advantage into the vacated area for an Oregon first down. And they Defenses in America. Bringing pressure again. Throwing into it again. Jacob Breland cuts it upfield. First and goal for the Ducks. Country. On third and goal, Herbert to throw, well protected, good coverage, but a man comes free last minute, it's Jacob Breland for the Oregon touchdown. So here we go on fourth and short, Buffs bringing pressure out of the backfield, Verdell can't hang on. So they convert one fourth down, but then turn it over on downs on the second opportunity. Ducks drop eight into coverage. Fontenot goes up to get it and scrambles forward for a first down. Fontenot has room off the right side. Alex Fontenot with a first down, pinballing to the 31. And the confidence he's playing with. He's given time here to find Chenault again. Another Colorado first down. Team play of the drive has Montez back to throw. Looking short side. Underneath he goes. And Tony Brown's got to gain a three or four, but not enough. And it's fourth down. From 27 yards, he's got it. And he's matched Mason Crosby. Colorado record, 10 consecutive makes. He's always on the verge of a rage. Here's Herbert to throw. He finds Breland dropping it in perfectly. And the tight end with another big gain. Back-to-back -back runs for the first time. They lamb in another tackle. He's already got five of them. He went last week. Takes the fake here and into the vacated area they go again. Juwan Johnson again. Home at the point of attack. Habibi Likio. First and goal for the Ducks. Off play action. Herbert throwing incomplete. Back to Johnson defended by Abrams. And he just barely sneaks it inside that upright to make it 10-3. Montez to throw, tipped in the air and incomplete. Isaac Slade, Mata Utia got his hand on it. On second and seven, Fontenot swings out. He quickly gets it to him. No chance with those yellow shirts swarming. It was Mata Utia that was there first. He pumps short. He steps up. He's in trouble and sacked. Lamar Winston Jr., one of the senior leaders of this defense, brings him down and makes it fourth and long. These Ducks fans well know, grew up coming to games here, dreaming of one day playing for the Ducks. Hands it to Verdell, out near midfield. That guy's coached a lot of pros. To the short side, a big hole, and Verdell hits it hard. Inside the 20, and they're finally doing what you were calling for, and that is pound it away and behind Sewell on the left side of the line. Yeah. Second down, they'll throw for the first time on this drive. Quickly in the hands of Addison, who gets finished off by Landman, and it's third down. And third and five, and they're bringing it. Herbert retreats, hits the crosser. It's first and goal. That is Johnny Johnson. Schooler motions into the formation. An extra blocker for a wide open lane, and a touchdown, Habibi Likio. Pressure coming. Montez retreating. In trouble, lofts it to the end zone. A jump ball, it is incomplete. Tipped in the air, McKinley caught it, but it was out of bounds. And now it's fourth and goal. Oh, he had a couple chances. Ooh, and that is awfully close with that right foot. And this happens because of the, again, tremendous pursuit. Is that right foot down at all by McKinley? The Oregon defensive player intercepted the ball in the end zone. For the Oregon's ball, first down. For halftime. Second and short. Herbert given time. Over the top. There's Pittman again. Perfectly thrown 
First down inside the 20 on a gain of 42. Down from the 17, and the two timeouts really have their entire playbook at their disposal. The throw underneath here, it's Johnson. Johnny Johnson inside the five. First and goal for the Ducks. Jim and Red, fifth consecutive game with a touchdown. What a big score for the Ducks and a three-score lead prior to halftime. Montez looks to throw. He's given time. He steps up. A great break on the ball. A tip and a pick. Bryson Young comes up with the interception. Hey, with Holland out, he's getting a chance to do a little bit more. Second and seven. Herbert down the sideline. Back shoulder to Jalen Red. First down inside the 20. And Colorado shows pressure, and they bring five. The extra man able to get there, but he gets rid of it, and Red hangs on for his second touchdown. Back to the air on first down. Montez right into coverage, and it's McKinley's second pick of the night. He's got a convoy of blockers. He's got it first and goal. I give an awful lot of credit for Oregon for creating it. Straight downhill, Habibi Likio in for the touchdown, and the route is on on this Friday night. Oregon bringing five. Lofting for Chenault, underthrown, tipped and intercepted. It was going to be Oregon ball either way. Nick Pickett comes up with the interception. And that's the ball that Montez earlier this season, I think. Montez boots. What a one-handed catch by Dimitri Stanley, but a lose yardage. Hockey Woods brings him down. Now this is becoming a pride thing for this Oregon defense with the game well in hand taking pride and keeping the other team out of the end zone which they've now done in 57 of the last 58 possessions. It's a beautiful catch from Stanley but it really doesn't matter which D Duck defender's in. Starters staying there for the Ducks offensively. C.J. Verdell explodes through the hole into the clear. He's got a speedster chasing him and Taylor running out of steam. They're able to trip him up after the 15. Here he is again. First and goal. And for Habibi Likio, a third tonight. There's Brady Russell for a Colorado first down. Second and two, Montez to the sideline. Dimitri Stanley, first down. Boy, it's impressive. On third and four, Mangum will be stacked up right at the marker. Bryson Young, starting stud, is in the game. Mangum gets a first down. And Axel's set up a screen. Mangum's got it. And it gets popped by Sampson New, who they say, despite being just 6'1", a little over 200, probably the biggest hitter on this defense. One touchdown the last 62 drives. And for Stefano, that snaps a string of 10 makes in a row. The uncertainty that they're dealing with. Okay. Second and seven, handed off to Felix. And that is going to do a pretty thorough beat down tonight for Mario Cristobal and the Ducks. Yeah, and two friends are going to shake hands here, and I, I think Mario knows just where his senior-laden team is in their front and on their offensive line. It was going to be a very difficult day for a good buddy that he respects an awful lot, Mel Tucker.